Hi, I'm still Eric Porter. In rigging, strong normally means safe, and that's what we're looking for. <sighs> A standard one ton safe working load wire rope loaded fully will have a spare capacity of four tons before failure. This is working with a factor, safety factor of five to one. There are instances when a 10 to one factor of safety is called for. So perhaps we will limit the load on it to 500 kilograms or one tenth of its theoretical MBL, that's minimum braking load. It will now have a spare capacity of four and a half tons. We may have doubled the factor of safety, but we've only increased the margin of safety by one eighth or 12 and a half percent. There are many good reasons for increasing our factors of safety in these days of highly technical shows with heavy elements moving quickly above people. But it is worth remembering that truss is not considered by the legislators as a lifting component. We commonly use truss as a lifting beam or lifting frame, but its design, component quality control and construction fall under legislation known as Eurocode 9. This Eurocode results in a safety factor between 1.7 and 1.9 to 1 theoretically. Actually, good truss products will exceed this modest figure when brand new, but there is a lot of older stock out in the world of work. The best advice is to avoid going anywhere near the maximum static loads declared in the truss tables published by the manufacturers. After all, as soon as we suspend truss from some hoists, we will impose dynamic loads every time we start and stop them. Make your mind up. Another issue to consider is the strength of what we are hanging from. Established venues in the developed world have engineers' reports guiding them about what loads are acceptable to apply to their structures. They are very keen to know in advance what each incoming show is likely to impose on them. Established outdoor roof systems have been similarly well analysed by structural engineers and should not be modified for a challenging show without re-analysis by qualified people. In a fast changing world, there are countries with a history of lower safety standards currently taking on huge projects and stories abound of accidents and near misses. Riggers are not structural engineers, though we do learn from them all the time. If there is any doubt about a project, professional advice should be taken. It is within our duty of care to know the limits of our competence and to engage qualified people when those limits are approached. Let's move on. Thank <laughs> you.